That's better. Yay! Hello, Earthlings! My name is Rick Diculous, and you are going to experience Mission to the Stars, stars. the Second Coming. Now I need to know whether you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a good time? All right, let me introduce you to two people. Important space urchins. Over here we have Tanner. Give him a cheer, Tanner. And over here we have Willow Space Urchin. Now let's see who's come to have a good time. This side, Willow side. Let's hear some noise. Show them the sign, Willow. Go! Not bad. Okay, how about your side, Tanner? Ready? Go! Oh boy, I think Tanner's side got it. Go again, Willow. Yeah. Hey, take that, Tanner's side. One more time, Tanner's side. All right, all right. Everybody's the winner. Let's cheer one more time. Yeah! All right, well. In a moment, the band's gonna come out. But first, I have to make some announcement or other. What's that? Oh, uh, we are gonna pass this hat around sometime or other to try and pay for our expenses up here because this is kind of just for free. Uh, you should know that we're all Sheboygan people, uh, local people. This is all uh, uh, your friends and neighbors who uh, put this show on and uh, build these rockets and this set here. So uh, give Sheboygan a round of applause, please. We have uh, t-shirts and DVDs and stickers and posters and programs. If you buy one of those programs, you'll probably have a better idea of what's happening. But if you don't buy a program and you don't know what's happening, you'll probably still have a great time. Uh, so please uh, go buy our stuff. Uh, and uh, we have a Kickstarter online campaign to raise money to pay for these props and the PA and stuff. So uh, you can uh, donate to us online until the end of August, I think. Enough of that boring stuff. Let's get on with the show, huh? Well, this is like a magic box here. Let's see which member of the band is going to emerge first. Will you come through the shiny door, please? <laughs> you forgot to put the handbrake on. Yeah. Michael Burchill! Very nice. Me and Mike have been working on this for a few years now. Uh, he plays the drums and uh, is a Mr. Idea Man. Let's see who's going to come out of the uh, uh, box now. Let's get a move on, guys. Uh, these guys have been waiting for the show, am I right? So, we have... John Pena on guitar! Oh, that's going to be tough to beat. All right, who's next out of our magic box? Who's next to go far beyond? Oh, the tension is rising. It, the tension is rising. More waiting around. <laughs> we need a bit more smoke. Oh, I see a hand. We're ready. Come on. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Oh, he wants some applause. I see. All right. Come on, milk it. No one's going to clap when you start playing. <laughs> it is... Jason Kaufman, JP on bass guitar! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Give me that handle. This is exciting. He's only just got here. He was later than I was. Stepping into the booth. 
to go far beyond is Mr. Brandon Quam. That's it for Brandon Quam, everybody. Now, oh, premature opening. <laughs> oh, boy, it's Mr. Eric Neal. What a box of wonders. Okay, we're getting down to the wind section. We have on flute, Miss Cassie Williams! Very nice. And last but not least, playing clarinet and saxophone in the first half and King Titan in the second half, we have Mr. Cody Linder! Right, well, the band is in its place. I'm going to join them, and the show is going to begin. I hope you have a good time, everybody. to welcome you to the biggest, the best show on the planet, the only televised game show to save the world, and our one last hope, Mission to the Stars! And tonight, one lucky winner chosen from our live studio audience will be rocketing off to the stars, carrying with them our hopes and dreams for salvation. And so, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our Android hosts for tonight's event. You know and love them from their many successful programs throughout the last century. I give you Mark 1 and Mark 2. Special occasion, folks. We have known for years that our planet is dying. Boo! The very lakes and rivers that we drink from are polluted, and the air that we breathe is poison. Well, we don't breathe it because we're robots. 
Well, that's right, Mark, but all of you do, which is why the Union of World Governments, along with the World Media Corporation, has gotten together to sponsor this once-in-a-lifetime event. Once in history, really. You are right, Mark. You see, one member of this specially selected studio audience is going to take that rocket ship to the end of the galaxy in search of an answer. And just what sort of answer will this winner find? Well, Mark, well, I don't really know. Uh, no reason to bog everything down with specific. It's, it's really more of a choose your own destiny <laughs> sort of a thing, yeah. Uh, but, but this destiny, I am told, is, is going to get us back to our roots and, and teach us what our forefathers, who took over this planet by force of their own will, have taught us. They knew what we've forgotten. If you can't hump your problems into submission, just forget about it and find some easier problems. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was actually going to say, Strength through victory! Well, that's all well and good, Mark, but uh, if it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be in this mess. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's the exact opposite of what we're trying to say. You see, what we're trying to say is, strength through victory, let's beat this thing! That's great, Mark. But if you know any dead people, point the finger of shame their way, because it's their fault, and we wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for them. I, d I just, I don't think we need to go there. Try actually. them and execute them, and stomp on their ashes so they're dead twice. That way they can't drag you into the grave by your ankles. This is really more of a positive event, Mark. How about you try to strap on some of that good old-fashioned Mark II positivity? Right, Mark. I'm just saying. If I see any of these dead people, I'm going to beat the crap out of them because The only thing that you are beating is a dead horse. And I will beat every dead horse and the dead horsemen of the apocalypse and drag them through centuries of... <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like Mark here is having a slight malfunction. Maybe he should have stayed a little more positive. We'll let him cool off for a little bit. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. Can you feel the vibrations of fate humming around you? Can you feel the earth crying out for the one person who can save us all? I tell you, my sensors are going crazy! Space urchins, bring out the lottery! that lottery a spin. The fate of the world is in the hands of the number that comes out first. Mark, you're not going to want to miss this. Then I'll take their bodies and drag them through centuries of the... Oh, hey, look, it's the space lottery. Yes, that's right, Mark. The future in the world is right inside that can. Mark, would you like to do the honors? Of course. or a 99. Just give it here. Ladies and gentlemen, a winner has been chosen. And our champion shall be number 99! Congratulations! You, my friend, come up to the stage and meet your manifest destiny!
space hero! My name is Apollo Newman. Well, Apollo Newman, you are the chosen one, and you are going on a mission to the Chosen one, I am the chosen one. 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 I am the chosen
good. We copied all that. Congratulations on the very first PAM D2 on our deploying. Roger, thank you. It all looked exactly nominal. Good job. We could tell it was a little bit bigger when it went out. There was a bigger boom. Thanks, Uncle Gunner, boys off Ned one. Boy, Tony, Tony. Honey, special, this is Houston Contact. I know it's early for your H minus 45, but this is the only chance you'll check to have to check your net one because Hawaii is tied to it. Need back up to the lamp. Can you support a quick remote check this time? That's the channel. Roger, I'm going to come at you right now. Count the bind back down again. Second. This is Houston Contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, enter test. Roger. Okay, we can go for this. Roger, you're locked. Very here, also. Board control, you. Board control, you. Contact, that's it. Roger, honey, circle is go. Put him back to the top. Thank you. When on the horizon It flickers and burns The temperature rising This is pounding With the beat of the sun A million light years lost and found. The seconds counting, the minutes down. I stand here all alone, waves of light wash over me, satisfy my soul. Waiting, waiting for eternity to come before the storm. Still my beating heart, you still my beating heart.
seven, six, five, four. four. We've gone for main engine start. We Three, two, one. Last off.
is the 30-year anniversary of the date that we sent Apollo Newman on his mission to the stars. As I said, it has been 30 years since Apollo had any human contact. So today we are looking for any messages from anyone out there in our viewing audience. Anyone that has a positive message for Apollo. Just call us up, dial us in, and we'll dial you into the show. With that, we have our first caller. Hello, this is Roderick Puffington with the Department of International Propaganda. Hello, Roderick. You are on the air. We just wanted to say, especially to our vast television audience, that everything is going great. You may not have seen improvements to your personal health, the quality of your water, or a reduction of chemicals in your food, but we want you to know that it can get a lot worse before we hit rock bottom. Until the last tree falls, we have hope. And we are keeping that last tree under lock and key in a secret greenhouse location where it will not die for many years yet. Well, that's wonderful news, Roderick. Do you have any special message for Apollo? Just to keep up hope, because he is the hope that we have for him and his mission. What is it exactly that Apollo was doing out there again? I told you we're not discussing that on the air. Uh, no, it's, it's all right. He is out there to save us all. He is the hope that we hope, so he'll find hope and we'll have hope. That's what we're hoping for. That sounds like very soft soap. Shut up or I'm shutting you down. We're never going to hear from Apollo again, are we? Just be quiet. We're going to commercial. Remember, no matter how bad it gets out there, folks, don't stop buying things. And Apollo, if you can hear us, even if you're lost in space, you're doing your planet proud.
be a mortal, a blessing and a curse. Life, my only mission, my duty to observe.
mansion See what I have done A blue-green ball of beauty Lighted by the sun Let there be light Let there be dark And oceans for the view of myself I created you the answer to my dreams a land of good and plenty and valleys carved by streams let there be love let there be hope what you see is what you are there are no heavens in the sky there are no distant stars Let wisdom guide your deeds There is no need for hunger, poverty, or greed They dream there be love, there be love What you see is what you are There are no heavens in the sky, there are no distant stars
They're on on RN. Yep. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to me. on the app, taking callers now. Oh. This is a pre-recorded military broadcast message. If you are still alive to receive this message, congratulations. Please proceed to the nearest reward center to collect your remaining survival equipment. Apollo Newman, if you receive this message, do not, I repeat, do not return home. Spread your hope to the universe. Stop war. Stop destruction. You are all we have now. Good luck and Godspeed. What, 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 wow, what a message, folks. I hope you all enjoyed that because today is a day of celebration. <laughs> Apollo Newman has landed. That's right, Apollo has found a living, breathing planet. Apparently, they're having some geopolitical strife, but hey, at least he's got clean air and water. That's right, so we are here to announce Mission
It's bearing down on 
are trapped Trapped in a deep dark hole The bars of our minds guarding the door And we're weak, strong only in memory Weighed down by the weight of it all And we're lost Lost in a lonely place Where beauty and love fall to hate Yeah. 
your son Then I could show you pictures Of my friends back when we were young And maybe together We could steer this ship of fools And chart a new direction The more you win, the more you lose And all the wealth and all the stars There is only one that stars As far as you and I can see We share a common destiny Destiny
was a man in search of truth. Wait, I found beauty and I found my faith and I found love on my mission to the Thank you so much for listening.